What an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? At least I held it together in front of Ryan and Steph. Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. I'm really happy for you, Gabe. Holy shit. It looks like Gabe actually read this. Gabe, brushing up on comics and art. Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Wait, what? Is that a real, live, dead deer? Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. really changed the art style since I read these. Is that a sword? Gabe always wanted a bike like this. Gabe looks like he fits right in. Oh man, Gabe used to crush me, jerk. Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, it looks pretty nasty right about here. <laughs> so, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go... Well, Ryan knows what he's doing. Now you just go with him. <laughs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? <laughs> falling pretty damn hard. Yeah? I mean, I guess. But it's amazing to be here. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. By the way, thanks for telling us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed up there anymore. Yeah, no problem. I hope you won't be mad at me. You did the right thing. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the Spring Festival, and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. That's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. 
Bye. Thanks for supper. Yep. So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh... Maybe not as long as that, but yeah. I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like it here? Sure. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, There's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. (laughs) Let's see how this goes. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chan, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes, Gabe is generous with both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. (laughs) It feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. Hey, Dad. Yeah? I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh Uh-huh. And? One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with him. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Typhon's not a bad company once you get used to how they operate. Right. Yeah, that's what people keep telling me. Takes a minute to learn the ropes. My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. Yeah, radioactive. The way they do things is just so 
I don't know. Only 45 bucks for the chance to get mauled by a bear. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. Are you, um, here with somebody? Or... That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he said. I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? I've heard the term before. Live action role play. It's like a tabletop role-playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong. You have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. So, I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. Got one. Jukebox is all yours. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. one word? It is more than one word. Hmm. Are there people on the cover? No. Yeah, no. Is there an animal on the cover art? Uh, no. No animals. Ugh, too bad. Some of these are really cute. I know, right? 
You've got two questions left. Does the song have a long title, like four words or more? Yes. Interesting. Last question. Yeah, all right, I know. Is the band name on the cover? Yep. That's your five. Ready to guess? Yeah. Let me look through one last time. Here's what I know. It's not a one-word band name. The song title is at least four words long. No animals on the cover. No people on the cover. The band name is on the cover. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. Is it that one? No, it's not. Sorry. All right. Let her drink me. It's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> How was it? Actually delicious? <laughs> you should try one. <laughs> hey, thanks for playing. I'm really glad we did. Me too. I should get back to work. Okay. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help us. I'm gonna have to step up my game. That's Charlotte's dispensary. She seems cool. I can see why Gabe fits in so well here. Ryan seems like a sweet guy. I'm going to choose to believe this isn't about me. I got ridden up for leaving my phone on. Oh, is that really Ryan? It wasn't even on me. But I guess it's... Ducky? Jed thinks you took your whiskey up to Gabe's yesterday. Do you know where you might have left it? <sighs> I remember absolutely nothing of the night. <laughs> really? Maybe check your phone. Did you take any pictures? Call anyone? <clears throat> Have a look. For goodness sake. How do I access the photos on this thing? Nice. 
Poor Ducky. I shouldn't be reading this. Sorry, nothing useful. Well, thanks for letting me know. My dad was in the service. Oh, hey, someone made a course about my life. Still want to hit the trails later this week? This one's from yesterday. Hold up. It was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch with the bottle. if the bullet's still in there. Rest in peace, mister. Guess these were for mining. Is there anything this woman can't do? personable staff. Nicely done, big bro. Shit. Now Mac's scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. lives? Jed is a real hero. Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. Coupons for weed? What a time to be alive. How mysterious. Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. That is bullshit. And you know it. I was defending Gabe from you. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. But Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? So you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just, like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. is wrong with you? Oh my god. Look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation, or we're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About why 
why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Okay, um, not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. Oh God, were you there too? Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Well, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait. Wait, are you... Are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. Alex Chen? Uh... Assaulting Mac Loud on your first day here, huh? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm going to take you in for questioning. Are you saying I'm under arrest? <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? <sighs> Interesting. Yeesh. Glad I'm not a 19th century miner. It's getting better for sure. All right. Let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe. upstairs in Gabe's couch what a relief many thanks Alex my pleasure ducky can I pour you a glass uh, no no allow me to miss Alex Chen a most tenacious detective to Alex Cheers. Oh. <sighs> I've done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. My dad was in the service. 
Wow. Tetanus anyone? I hope Brian's got better supplies. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covered for you. For real? I need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. How's your jaw? Is the pain bad? Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Do you have a cooler under there? I like to hide beers around the house. Because, well, you never know. You never know what? You just never know. So, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, okay, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I can kick your ass? Yeah, I guess. You know, I never realized what your life must have been like. On your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Didn't you go to juvie? Isn't that like prison? Yeah. That was the hardest time of my life. Some days of that. 
I didn't think I'd make it out. But I get the feeling you've been through worse. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? Growing up in the system was hell. In my first foster home, an older boy followed me into the bathroom, so I pushed him out. He got angry. So did I. Then I broke his nose. I was 14. In the second home, one of the other kids committed suicide. I couldn't eat for a month. After a couple of weeks in the fifth home, I got so depressed that my new parents sent me to a hospital. I never saw him again. The hurt follows me everywhere. It's the other kids get adopted, leave the system, not me. They never picked me. I'm broken. Do you really believe that? Wouldn't you? After all this time, it's hard not to take it personally. And it just keeps happening. It never stops. And I look at you. You've got a home, a job, a girlfriend. Got it all figured out. And I don't. I don't need a light. Just take it. What is this? A reminder. Looks like a match to me. That was the last matchbook I got when I was still in juvie. Did some pretty unsavory stuff to score it. Do you still have it? Yeah. I carry it with me everywhere. When I got out, I went through the last few matches real quick. Obviously, but... I, I could never bring myself to use the last one. It reminded me how bad life got. And how much better I was going to make it. Gabe, I can't accept this if it means so much to you. No, no. That's exactly why I want you to keep it. When I found Haven and Charlotte, I couldn't believe they were real. Everything before was such hell. It's different. You can do the same. Start a new life. You made it out of the system, Alex. You survived. It's time to move on. It 
It's not that simple. I've made so many mistakes. We all have. Survival isn't a neat and tidy process. But it's way better than the alternative. And don't forget, I'm here to help you. That's not gonna change. Tell me about the guitar. Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. You don't think... Maybe? Fuck, maybe he did. What is it? I think he went up to the mountains. If he actually did, we need to move. Now, let's go. since I was up here. You don't do your ranger stuff around here? Private land. Outside of my jurisdiction. Dad brought me up here a bunch when I was little, though. I was his minor in training. <laughs> that was back before mining men blowing the tops off mountains. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. <laughs> We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find him. Oh, at least we're not racing the clock. Hey, you good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? him. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, thanks again for your help. Could have been a lot worse if you hadn't kept me in the loop. Of course. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Landed a job on my first day. Maybe this fresh start is still salvageable. Something tells me those two weren't the best match. Haven has an indie movie theater. Impressive. Mm. 
Nope. 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 Super nope. Will we, though? Cool. A murder barn. Hey, bro. Wanna get wasted at the old mine? You don't realize until you're up close, but mining equipment is super murdery. How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? They were gonna set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. My joyride in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. Wow. Once Ethan's safe, I'll raise one too. Probably not as fun to ride in as they look. Pretty beaten up. Wonder what happened to it. What happened here? Massive cave in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion... Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look, then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. I think Thanar went a different way. Luck. Been a minute since I tried to break a lock. I've lost my edge. <laughs> do you really think the comic is going to help us find him? I do. Ethan seems like the kind of kid who filters everything through his imagination. If we can see this place like he did, I think we'll know where he went. All right. Let's do it then.
there's like a side door back there? I don't know. I can guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. <sighs> you figured that out from a comic book. Try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ethan must have come through here. How did I got some good news for you. Mm, I mean, it, it seems like a slim kind of want to push all the buttons. Also, kind of scared to push any of the buttons. Ugh. Worse than sleeping on the ground. through some other way. Let me see what I can figure out. This thing has seen better days. old building. Please don't collapse while we're inside you. Thanks. Maybe it's full of Twinkies. Those never go bad, right? Wasn't in the comic. Must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed the. Not in the comic. The silo. We're getting close. the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. Think I'll find another way through. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the... S Heads up!
You figured out the door. Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? Will wonders never cease? Okay. I'll stay out. But not because you told me to. Took you so long. You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex? from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. Don't! Don't, 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 don't! His fear is so strong. If I get near it... It's no good. We're too heavy. You sure? Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. You okay? I'm all right. You sure? It's okay if you're not. No, I'm good. You know, I actually believe you when you say that. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope 
your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. Doing super good. Remember, slow is steady. Steady's fast. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Hang on, Ethan. I'm coming. You got this, Alex. Go back! You'll get hurt! I'm not gonna get hurt, and neither are you.
angle of vanishing, just like Ninth Warden. I thought that was just a story. Hell, some stories are true, like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Don't look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. They're headed back. Keep tight on the belay, Gabe. <laughs> Not over yet. Oh, God. Okay. One step at a time. scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. I got you. But what if you let go? Shit. Do you think the log will break? I don't know. But if it does, I am going to hold on to you so tight, okay? Okay. That's it. Come on. Here you go. I got you. 